We're saying this with COVID. Yeah, today you'll be here, tomorrow you won't be here. But I think, guys, it's an eye opener. Have you realized COVID just disappeared? It's not much being said up no more about COVID because. <laughs> I'm on the train heading to my hair appointment, y'all. My hair's been looking crazy for the longest, so it's time to get it together. Get it together. Yes, and I got some big braids under this hat, but y'all finna see the process, the process. I'm gonna try and film it for y'all, but if not, y'all will see the beginning and the ending. I'll record when I take my hat off and take my hair out, guys. Your girls here been growing like wildfire. If you see my hair on my head, it's been growing, it's been doing good, but we'll be back when she takes it off. I'm on the train right now. It's a beautiful day out here today, y'all. And uh, I think after I finish doing my hair, depending on how late it is, we might go take a stroll. Let's see. Anyway, stay tuned. Hello. Good morning. Listen. I'm getting ready for work. I'm about to leave the house for work. Y'all see I'm walking out to my bedroom. I got clothes in the back there. Oh, you can't see it. To fold. I didn't fold it last night because I got in a little bit late from work last night. So, your girl was tired. But anyway, I started recording a video last night, yesterday while I was at work. Hey, you guys. So, we're out by the river, out by the waters, enjoying the view. If you look behind me, you'll see it's a peaceful day out and your girl is by the waters. Yes, enjoying the view from different angles. Anyway, I wanted to tap in with you guys and see how you guys were doing. What's going on? Mm -hmm. we're spinning all different angles because i want y'all to enjoy this with me guys the water is so peaceful your girl is at work don't mind me at work and chilling mm -hmm. anyway what y'all been up to i haven't been up to much i have just been taking life one day at a time but i just wanted to tap in with you guys and let y'all know yes i'm chewing you know what let me spit out the gum because it's so disrespectful i hear myself chewing anyway hold on y'all yes anyway y'all all i was saying was make sure you guys check in with each other make sure you tap in with family members because in this day and age this crazy world we don't know what's going on sometimes you gotta just stop for a minute and give god praise for the small things i actually took my patient out for a walk yesterday and we was at the lake just chilling enjoying the weather because the weather is <clears throat> kind of nice kind of looks good and we were out by the waters guys and you know sometimes you sit there and you reflect and i just had to sit and reflect about how good god is y'all i can't praise him enough i know y'all be watching my vlogs and stuff but i have never really taken the time out to sit and really Give God the praise he deserves. Y'all, my testimonies that I have to give this man above, it's nothing beyond amazing. Amazing. Y'all, I don't know why he does it. I personally don't think I deserve it, but God is good. Y'all, I've never had a day where... I've actually sat and cried because it was nothing to be done. It was nothing. Well, let me not put it that way because I've had many days where I've cried, where things were beyond my control. But what I will say is those times didn't last. 
because God always made a way. And you know, the sad part is sometimes he's made a way without me even asking y'all. And the reason why I'm saying this is because sometimes we do not realize how blessed we are. We just go about taking life for granted. Every day we wake up, we say our little prayer. Oh Lord, thank you for waking me up this morning. And we go about our day. But we don't realize how blessed we are. We take life for granted and think this is life. But sometimes it's okay to take a minute to stop and reflect about the goodness of God. And the reason why I'm saying this, it's because two weeks ago, the world was all peachy. Two weeks ago, we were fussing about COVID. Two weeks ago, we here were complaining about the country being on lockdown. It's a pandemic. I can't get to go out to eat. I can't go to the movies. Dumb stuff. Today... We have people crying about their homes, fighting for their lives. Kids having to flee with their moms, not knowing if they will ever see their dad again. Y'all, y'all. We need to stop taking life for granted. And I know we were saying this with COVID. Yeah, today you'll be here, tomorrow you won't be here. But I think, guys, it's an eye-opener. Have you realized COVID just disappeared? It's not much being said no, no more about COVID because it's a war raging. What is this crazy man about to do? And I'm not scared of him by far because I serve a living God. My God is mighty and that crazy man is not more powerful than the God I serve. But, but what's going on with others? And y'all, I woke up this morning. I even woke up before my alarm clock went off. And I really had to sit there and give God praise because I have a roof above my head. I have a warm home. I have food in my um, house, but I'm still not complete. Still not complete. Because the one thing that I really need in my life, I don't have. But I still have to give him praise and thanks because he's amazing, you know. And it's all going to come full circle. That's why I cannot stop praising him. But I want you guys to, it, it, it doesn't matter, bless somebody. I've listened to a sermon on Sunday, y'all. I'm Seventh-day Adventist. And sometimes um. <laughs> On Sundays, I have this pastor that I listen to. He's really cool. He preaches. And sometimes I'm conflicted with my faith. Trust and believe me. I'm not conflicted in serving the Lord on Saturdays. I'm just conflicted sometimes in, dang, can I trust, believe also in a pastor that believes in the Sunday or whatever not the case may be, but his sermons be good. And one thing that he said is that when you bless someone, that blessing is not for them. It's for you. You know, and sometimes we take God for granted. We take our blessings for granted and we don't we don't realize that when you hold off and think, damn, if I give that person a $20 or $10, that's taken away from me, that shoe that I could have bought. But what you don't realize is that $10 or that $20 will multiply and come back to you. The blessings that we give out is not for us others it's for us i'm blessing you for me and that's what i've learned so i have to start doing it guys i've been slacking up on my tithes and offering i have to get on the ball but my thing is let's stop for a minute and realize that there's a god there are others that are doing worse than us when you wake up this morning and your light's been cut off Realize that at least I'm in a home, my lights cut off, I could go work, borrow this money, pay this light bill. But you got people that don't have a home, that's fighting for their lives, that's fleeing countries, fleeing the only thing that they've ever known. But yet still, you still have a home. So let's stop complaining and start looking around, looking and see who can I bless. I know I ain't got it, but dang, they worse than me. Let me give them a handout. And that was just what I woke up with this morning. I have to head out. I have to go to work. But I just wanted to let you guys know that God is good. He deserves all the praise and all the glory that there is to give. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I told y'all there's something lingering in my throat. 
but anyway i'll see you guys in my next vlog or maybe this one might continue who knows anyway like subscribe i know sometimes y'all gonna be like this boring why is she talking about god god is good i'm gonna always talk about him and i'm gonna always give him praise but anyway enjoy your day i know i'm gonna enjoy mine at the people job mm -hmm. how y'all like my hair i went and got it braided i was supposed to vlog about it but i didn't get the chance to guys because my head was hurting me anyway i think it's cute when i loose it out i'm gonna show y'all i might do a separate video for this i don't know we'll see anyway y'all peace out